Hey everybody, it's Jen from the Statesboro Bullock County Library and I'm here today to show you how to register yourself and any children for Beanstack, which is our online platform that we're using to track summer reading. So hopefully this will be a, a helpful tutorial if you're having a little trouble understanding how all of this new online stuff works. Uh, I'm going to start out by telling you to go up here to um, our website, which is strl.info. You don't have to worry about the rest of this right now because that will take you to our main page. And at the top, you will see this link right here, which is Summer Reading 2020. If you click on that, you will see this page. It has all of our summer reading information on it. Uh, each library's individual home summer reading page, which has their special performances and a list of how they're handling prizes. Uh, it also has a calendar with all of the events that we have that you can use uh, towards a lot of the Beanstack badges. So from this page, you're going to see a couple helpful things right down here. One is, I'm going to be showing you today the web-based version of Beanstack, but be aware that it also does have an app. So you can click on either of these and go to Google Play or to the iOS App Store and download the app from there. Uh, we'll do a separate uh, we'll do a separate screencast uh, training or tutorial to show you how to use the app. Today, we're going to focus on these three right here. There's a little handy step-by-step -step guide here. You can download this and follow it along if you prefer to read and uh, you know watch this kind of thing on uh, set this kind of thing up using a paper tutorial or written tutorial. Uh, but you can also click here. There are other video tutorials in our Niche Academy collection, and you can watch some that are created by Beanstack themselves right there. Today we're going to focus on this link, which is our Beanstack registration link. So when you click on this from our page, you're going to open up this new page. Um, you can also just directly type in this into your browser, this strl.beanstack.org, and you'll be taken to this page as well. So here you can see this is our uh, summer reading theme, Imagine Your Story. Uh, this is the regional library's name, and we are going to come down here and register an individual or a family. So once you click on this, it asks, you can register yourself. If you're registering simply uh, adults, you can register. Uh, there. I'm going to today go through how to register if you have children or a child. You can register all your kids all in one fell swoop and they will all be under the same account. That's one username and one password that you're going to create as your own self, the adult, and then all your kids are underneath it. So you can swap between readers. You don't have to remember a million passwords. So today I'm going to click on adult registering a child and this is your first screen. Now just a reminder, up here, this is the adult information. So we want to make sure that this first little bit of information that we fill out is all about you as a parent. Uh, just a reminder that phone numbers and email addresses that we ask for here, these are not ones that we're going to sell. You're not, <laughs> not that we ever do, but uh, you don't have to worry about junk mail and that kind of thing. Uh, it's important that you have one that you check regularly and a, and a good phone number because if you win any of the prize drawings, that is how we're going to contact you. So for here today, we're going to fill in some adult information. I am going to fill in as someone else today simply because I am already in there and I don't want to confuse it by adding several more. So you're going to enter your first and last name. You're going to create a username. You can use one that you always use. You're going to need to add an email. I'm going to use my work email just for ease here. Um, I'm going to use the library. I'm actually going to use the kids' phone number and my zip code. Now, you can, same as always, you can choose any password that works for you. Uh, it does have to be the same. 
And then right here, you're going to choose your library. So all of the libraries in our region are represented here because we're all using the same Beanstack account. So if you want to win and you want your reading hours and minutes and books to go towards your library's challenge, you need to make sure that you select them from this list here. So Claxton, Swainsboro, Metter, Pembroke, Richmond Hill, and Statesboro. I'm going to choose that one. And now we're getting into our reader information. And for the purposes of this, the first reader, even though you've technically entered your own adult information and you can absolutely join a reading challenge and be counted as a reader, what it really means here is it wants your first child. So I'm going to go ahead and add my first kid, who I have named Ursula. She is, oh, that's nice. It gives you a little half. She is eight and a half. Uh, I have no idea what grade that is. So I'm going to say she's entering the 8th grade. Uh, here you do have to go through and make sure you select all this stuff. This is just normal registration stuff. But down here, it's going to ask if you want some book recommendations. So using Beanstack, you can tell it what books you're reading. This is a great way to track what you're reading. Um, and it will also, if you select this down here, send you recommendations based on what books you've read. It'll send you some ideas of what might be interesting next. Uh, so once you've gotten all this information filled out, you're going to hit next. Oh no, I knew it. <laughs> so this is what happens sometimes. Let's see if that worked. I'll just do both of them again. Uh, so you have to make sure those match. Yay, I did it. All right, now Ursula's profile has been created. It is only going to show you the challenges that your child and you are eligible for based on the age or the grade that you've listed because that's how they're set up in Beanstack. Now there are some ages that overlap, I believe 5 and 12. So at five, you have the option of joining the pre-readers or the children's, uh, and that's totally up to you. I, I, you should only choose one because it would be very difficult if you were in two. And at 12, you can still choose between children's and teen. Uh, the main difference is that pre-readers pre and children's count books read. Um, so as you read a book, you log the book as it's finished. Uh, and then teens and adults count minutes read. Um, because obviously those books are generally a lot longer and you don't necessarily finish them in one setting. Uh, so here we can see that Ursula has a few challenges available to her. One of them is this 2020 Children's Summer Reading and I would like to register her for that. It gives me this little option up here to save. Thank you, Chrome. And she's already earned her first badge because she registered for the program. She unlocked the Adventure Away badge. Uh, everyone should be able to see this, uh, virtual field trips on theirs. That's a fun one. It's a pre-made one that we just thought was cool and decided that we would include in our offerings. But it's, a, it's an online field trip, so it takes you to cool places, historic monuments, uh, national parks, aquariums, museums. You get to go sort of through them uh, via the websites and you learn a little bit along the way so you can learn as you go and it asks you some questions and you can earn badges that way. But Ursula is now registered for the 2020 Children's Summer Reading. I'm going to hit next. It's going to ask if I would like to add another child. So if you have more than one kid, you click yes and then it'll go through that whole same page again. I'm going to say no today and now it's going to ask if I would like to register and I like to read so I'm going to say yes. It's going to ask me a little bit about myself. I'm going to just randomly pick an age and I'm going to tell it I'm an adult, fill out all the basic information. Uh, I, once again, you can get book recommendations if you would like them. And now it tells me what my challenge options are. And uh, here you can see the 2020 adult summer reading. So I'm going to register myself for that. There's my badge, my registration badge that I've just earned. And I don't have another an adult that I'm going to add. So that means I am all set up. And that's it took just a few minutes. I'm logged in. I have uh, my child logged in. We all have our, our challenges set up and we're ready to go.
So I am going to show you how to tool around in Beanstack in a later tutorial, but that was it for registering. So once you do this, you are all set up. If you decide that you would like to go back and download the app, you can do that. And when you enter your same information, your login, your username, and your password, it will log into your account. You don't have to go through any creation of accounts again. So there we go. We're all set. We're ready to use Beanstack and log our information and get to summer reading. Thanks for watching.